Hello there friends and welcome back for another mod review. Today I have a very interesting and cool placeable for you guys that I'm going to review. This is called the Caster Food Incorporated Placeable. It's basically a, a placeable slaughterhouse or processing plant if you prefer. And uh, what you do is bring the animals in and it turns them into sausage and meat and boxes them all up for shipment and you can sell it at your placeable sales point. So what we're going to do guys, I'm going to take you over to the website because I will show, have to show you a couple of things over there. When you download the mod, I do believe it's going to be a rare file. And what you'll have to do is convert that over to a zip file, then unpack it, and there'll be four mods inside there. Basically two of them are animal transports. One's a cargo bowl with this company logo on the side. It's kind of a refrigerated unit. And then the fourth mod is the this factory itself plus all the uh, the little pens that you can keep the animals in. Okay, so here we are on the website. When you follow the link I provide for you down below, it's going to bring you here. Uh, this isn't in English, this page, obviously, so this translate box usually drops down if you have Windows 10, so just click on that. I already did, and it'll translate it into English for you. There's the mod there, Caster Food Inc. I'll show you a few pictures here. There's the three different trailers I was telling you about. There's the small and large animal transports, and that's the refrigerated unit with the company logo on the side. That's basically a cargo bowl that holds all the uh, the box meats and stuff. And then the fourth mod that you're going to get, or the fourth zip file, is for the actual placeable itself. So there is a little video there. Unfortunately, it's not in English. And I just basically want to show you where you click to download. So there is the link right there. It's going to bring you over here. I know a lot of people aren't too crazy about this, and it's going to take you about 20 minutes to download this too, so just be prepared, be a little patient, and you'll get it. If you don't want to download it, guys, I understand, but uh, I tried it, and it works great, so you will click here. You'll have to wait 30 seconds for the timer to run down, and then once it does, it, you're going to get this pop-up on the screen, and just type in those two words, guys. It doesn't have to be, like, you can use all lowercase letters if you want. And if you get ones that you can't read, just hit the recycle button here and it'll give you two new words to type in. So what do we got here? F-A-R, Fert Town, that's nice. <laughs> T-O-W-N, and then C-H-E-M-I-N, C-H-E-M-I-N, Chemin. Okay, just press enter. And there you go, there's your direct download right there. So right now I'm going to put that on my desktop actually in a new folder right there and there you go. So like I said you will have to wait a while it's not a fast upload for sure but uh, once that's done guys we'll continue on. Okay now that we have that out of the way we can go over a few things here. First thing I'm going to do guys is take you over to the shop to show you where this is located. It's got its own little category here below the placeables. It's the Castor Food Incorporated. Just click on that, and all your little mods will be inside, all four of them. There is your smaller animal transport. There is your butchery. There are your two animal pens. Now, this you don't have to feed them or fatten them up or give them water or anything. This is just basically a holding place until you're ready to butcher them. So what you could do is buy the animals directly from the animal dealer and bring them right to the butcher if you want. But if you want to stockpile them and do it later on, this is what you want. Now it says that this takes all three animals, but I only see pens here for the sheep and the pigs. So I'm not too sure about the cows. Like I said, that's the uh, full size animal trailer that holds a lot more. We'll go over those numbers in a second. And there is the cargo bowl which will hold your finished product, all your meats and stuff that you bring to your sales trigger right here. So, on to the other ones. So here is your cargo bowl. I just happened to buy two of them. This is a refrigerated unit. It, the sides don't open up, but the back doors do. Like I said, it's basically a refrigerated unit and this is modded to hold meats. Okay, so here's our two animal transports over here. We have one really big double decker and then we get a small one there we'll go over the shop so we can tell you about them there's the smaller one there it is twenty four thousand with a ten dollar a day maintenance fee and this will hold nine pigs ten sheep or six cows and then we have the bigger one over here the double decker this oh let's go back one yeah the double decker costs ninety eight thousand and a twenty five dollar a day maintenance fee and this will hold 
38 pigs, 48 sheep, or 20 cows. So basically what I wanted to do was see how much of a profit you would get after buying so many animals, filling this up and then selling it, how much of a profit you'd get. So I will go over that with you now. This is for the full price of the animals. It costs $5,000 for a cow, $3,000 for a pig, and $4,000 for a sheep. Now to buy 38 pigs, it costs $114,000. So keep that in mind. Now after I took all them pigs and turned them into meat, I sold that meat for $179,184. So remember, I paid $114,000 for them, so I made a profit of $65,184. Now for the sheep, I bought 48 sheep for $192,000. Then I sold the meat and I ended up getting $211,087. And the price to buy them was 192000 so I made a profit there of $19,087. So these things definitely pay off if you uh, do the math. You definitely uh, make a profit. But what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to add a mod in with this. It's called Lower Animal Prices, and it brings down the prices of the animals dramatically. Now, like I said, I, the cows cost 5000 pigs cost 3000 sheep cost $4,000 each. Now, here's how much they cost after that 2500 for a cow 750 for a pig and 500 for a sheep so basically the cows are half price the pigs are one fourth the price and the sheep are one eighth the price so yeah definitely a big bonus there so let's push on so here is your two placeable pens here one is for your sheep and one is for your pigs there is none for the cow unfortunately but yeah, like I said, it's just basically a holding place until you're ready to bring them to the butcher. So you can put these down anywhere, pretty much. I put them up by where I buy the animals, just so I didn't have uh, fur to go. Testing this for you guys. But you're just going to pull up to this long, open area here to pick up or drop off your animals. So that is one for the pig and one for the sheep. And as you can hear, they got the sound effects and everything. So we're going to put down a sales trigger here. If I haven't already. Yes, I already did. There is the sales trigger right there. It's kind of hard to see through the grass, but that's where you'll sell your product. So let's get started here. So now we're going to be testing it with the lower animal prices to see how much. And we'll crunch the numbers at the end, so hopefully you can stick around and find out how much money we make. So let's go over here first, and we'll fill this up with pigs. To get those numbers first. As long as you're anywhere close to there. We'll take the pigs, and like I said, look how cheap the prices are. Now remember before, I told you pigs cost 3000 sheep cost 4000 and cows cost 5000 So there's your best deal right there. Well, we're going to go with the pigs for now. Look at that, way cheaper. 28500 and before that cost 114000 So look at that. So, I'm just going to write these numbers down right quick, guys, because I will have to do the math when I'm done at the end here. Okay, so we have them. Confirm. Yes. And for now, I'm just going to drop them off over in the animal stables here. Now, I do believe this is the pig one here. Now, like I said, they're not animated in there or anything, so they just kind of stand around. You're not going to see that many, because it holds a lot. So let's dump them off. I'll bring up my tool bar there and make sure they're getting unloaded. So I can do it. Yes, they're all in there now. So let's go over here and you can find out your numbers. So there we go. We got 38 pigs. That's only 19% full here. So that's all you have to do is drop them off and then you can sell, pick them back up and sell them whenever you want. So I have the numbers for that. Now let's go over and grab our sheep. See how much that costs. Hey sheepy, 500 each, 48 of them cost 24,000, just let me write that down, 24,000, way cheaper than before, what did I say it cost before for that, kind of forget now, but it costs a lot, 192,000, so look how much, that's one eighth of the price guys. So I definitely take advantage of that. Okay, that is full. We'll confirm that. 
Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to bother dropping these guys off. I'm just going to bring them right over to the butcher shop. Now, what you're going to want to do here is back in there. If you have a big old semi like I do. You could probably turn around the parking lot as well, but I just find it easier doing it from out here. So back that on up. It does take a little bit of time for this to process. Not a whole lot of time, but... Okay, drop them off. They're, they're all in there now. They're being turned into meat. <laughs> it just sounds horrible, but hey, that's the way life is, I guess. Okay, and then we'll pick back up the pigs. And I'll just keep them in the trailer until we are ready to drop them off. So yeah, you're going to make quite a profit. So the pigs are the best bet when the animals are full price, but I'm wondering if it's the sheep after this, because the sheep you get more bang for your buck. I said get in pigs, there they are. Okay, so I got the pigs in there, let's bring them on over. And we'll let them wait until we're done with the sheep here. Oh, I'm just gonna quickly jump on out. Oh. Run over here into my cargo bowl and get ready for a shipment. Now I'm going to bring up my tool menu there. I'm going to press my N key to open up the back. You can see inside. There you go. Now just back this up to either door. Remember I said each animal you're going to get both products. You will get sausage and meat. So we'll pick up the meat first. And we'll see if these numbers are the same as before. There it is filling up. 82%. Now that should be empty now. Just got to look at the little digital display. Yes, it is. And once I pull this ahead a little bit, you can get a look inside. Get a look at the boxes of meat. There you go. Pretty cool. So yeah, you can't put both of these in at the same time. You got to take one, then the other. So let's go to our sales spot over here and we'll sell this up. Now, I just want to flip my notes over here. I just want to see if I sell these, it's going to be the same price as I got originally. So before I sold the meat, the pigs, I got 112,867. So keep that in mind, 112,867. Okay, let's sell that up. Ooh, I got more that time. 163,000. 163,658. 163,658. Okay, I just want to keep these numbers in mind for when I do my tallying. Now let's go get the sausage from the pigs. Okay, let's fill it up with sausage. We're all full. So that's it for the animals, right? The pigs, yes. Okay. So the sausage is in a little bit different color boxes, I think. It's not quite a full load. So we'll sell that and see what we got. Okay, we got 96,000. One hundred and seventy-one dollars. Ninety-six thousand one hundred and seventy-one dollars. Okay, we will do that math momentarily. But for now, we're going to move on to the sheep. So I'll just use the same transport since I have it here. Actually, I'll have to drop them off first. One, I may even have to speed up time just a little bit till this gets processed. But for now, we'll just drop them off. Let's see what we get. Oops. Sorry, animals. So hopefully the prices aren't confusing anybody. I just want you to get an idea of what you're going to uh, expect once you, if you pick this model. What kind of? There you go. That's better. 
get out. All right, so they'll be processed. Yeah, just to give you an idea how much of a profit you're going to make. Obviously, with the cheaper animals mod, you're going to make a lot more. So let's back in this cargo bowl and we'll just speed up time a little bit. So go over to the meat section first. And we will speed up time because there's probably nothing in there yet. No. See the little fan spinning on the reefer? It's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to jack up time for a sec. There, it's full now. It only takes a minute or two. Okay, we'll fill that up. So see the little icon there? Yes, and I forgot to show you on these trailers as well. When you click on them, there's the uh, meat symbols there. But, okay, you're full for now. And we'll go sell this and see how much we get for the sheet meat. Hope you guys don't mind me doing this. I just want to give you a full review and tell you how much to expect. Okay, 117,721 for the meat. And let's go see what we get for the sausage. So you know we're going to be making a good buck here. For sure. Let me straighten up here a little bit. And in you go. Sausage. Wonder what that would taste like. Sheep sausage. <laughs> I can understand the steaks like lamb chops and stuff like that, but the sausage doesn't sound too appealing. But who am I? I never had lamb or sheep before so I wouldn't know who am I to say okay let's sell this see what we got and we'll tally that with the other one so we got 72,631 dollars okay guys I went ahead and crunched all the numbers and now I have our profit margins so for the pigs we sold all the pigs and we got 259,829 in meat sales and the pigs cost to buy 28500 so we get a profit of $231,329 for the pigs. So almost a quarter million for that. Then we go over to the sheep. The sheep we bought for 24000 What we got for the meat sales was 190352 for a profit of $166,352. So that wasn't bad at all. So there you have it guys, that was the Castor Food Incorporated Placeable or Placeable Slaughterhouse and Processing Plant. Additional information and links can be found below in the description as always. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, maybe you could leave a like on your way out. And guys, if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen and I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. And my Patreon still open, guys, if you would like to help donate and help out the channel. So, guys, until next time, take care, and I will see you all in the next one.